I want to welcome you to Austria. Thank, Thank you. you. We have Thank Nina you. here, Karen and Henrik. Thank you. If that's right. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. right. So let's start. So I just wanted to start with in how way, what, what way did COVID-19 affect your artistic activities in the last 18 months in uh, Sweden? <laughs> in Sweden, <laughs> uh, it's, uh, we, all my gigs was, you know, Cancelled. cut. So um, that's, that's uh, not nice. Not nice. So it did affect you. It, yeah, it <laughs> did. Quite heavily. So that's. For me. Yeah, everything yeah. was postponed, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we had to organize a second time mm -hmm. for this tour, for example, mm. which was supposed to uh, take place last year, mm. but it was postponed until now. Mm. Until today, so, yeah, yeah, so, and we so had to reapply for funding and yeah, 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 and do everything <coughs> once again, yeah, yeah. once yeah. again. So it's a what lot of extra job. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So what was it like for you being an artist, musician, during the time of the pandemic? Now, personally, in your professional. Uh, personally, I practice a lot yeah. and rehearse. And made a lot of uh, made uh, records, two records. Um, so it's kind of creative p period. Yeah. For me, personally, but uh, uh, there was no gig for for the audience, and we did mm -hmm. some streaming. So. So you were missing the audience, of course. I'm missing the audience, but I was still working. Yeah. So. I yeah, suppose as an artist, you can never stop working. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> I decided to, to, to practice a lot. Yeah. So that's my way. So. And did it affect your music then? Did it get any I better? I hope so, I hope so. If that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah it's same for me. Um, when everything slows down, it's time for reflection. and. Mm. Mm practicing and also recording yeah. and making things with music except the touring and playing concerts mm. trying to book and uh, look forward to a future after the pandemia and we still don't know mm. <laughs> when it is mm. because it's still going on mm. nina and then, I mean, <coughs> I mean, I I know a lot of musicians, including myself, who've who've had a, a what do you call mental illness. I mean, being very de depressed mm -hmm. during, mm -hmm. I mean, not performing. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I think this has been a very general that the first six months that musicians felt, oh, this is a nice time to slow down and just to mm -hmm. uh, go in within and uh, and just I don't have to. I mean, like this kind of time for. Be a, in or have a more introvert and sort okay. of reflect reflective um, time in in your life. I think this was the first uh, mm. that some quite a lot of people were in, although they lost money and but finding that it was nice to sort of for the artistic uh, processes to be able to go through some some processes. But uh, I think when it just after last summer when it was really that everything got cancelled again. And and then um, it was like for me it was like going in a big tunnel again. And then I <clears throat> then I really had trouble uh, practicing. So I, I really had to force myself once a day, at least one hour, mm. and then sometimes two hours. But so I, that was just because uh, I, I lost uh, I lost the um, the joy. Yeah, so I I just force myself just to play, just to uh, not to lose it, and otherwise I've been walking a lot yeah. outside, just walking, walking, and working out, and yeah. Maybe the, that that saved me was that I got a stipendium last summer, so so for my economy it was no, no yeah. problem. 
Yeah, so that's my next question. Yeah. How so did that's, you that's cope financially, yeah. emotionally mm -hmm. with, all, with the situation? Mm -hmm. Did you get any financial support from the government? Yeah, from yes. your yes. circle of friends mm -hmm. or from, from the your government. artistic community? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you get any support if you needed it? If you fell into that kind of mm. from the government, they, they they had s mm. several um, application uh, yeah. Yeah. periods. Christ, Christ, mm. Christ, Christ uh, yeah. Yeah. Did you get that from the start off, or I, did you have to apply for that? Uh, yes, the first, the first one I had had applied for. Uh, yeah, we have to apply. Yeah, yeah. We we have have to apply always, for, always, yeah. always. Yeah. And that so continued yeah. then yeah. until yeah. now, or did it stop? No, I don't think it has it's stopped. You have yeah. to apply you see, you have for to another apply one, for, yeah, and, yeah. and uh, I mean, it, it's not enough, of yeah, course, yeah, but yeah. it can help. Yeah. So, do they still have it now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. For yeah. A, a fourth, because uh, it was yeah. three times. So. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, then mm. I have to read. And start to start up. Uh, mm. Mm. Oh, but this is more for, for like associations or for for me freelancing. Freelancing. Mm. Okay. Culture. Culture. Okay. And was it easy enough to discover that, or was it difficult to find out which funding no, is for what? Or now you don't know if there is no, still funding I, going on. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know actually. About are they promoting it, or are you the one who has, as usual as an artist, you have to look for funding and you find it somewhere? And and is it the same with this one now? This I mean, this should the, be a given, basically. I think the third round of of crisis funding was basically everybody who applied for it got it and that yeah. they had a, a very sort of uh, they broadcasted it i mean like it was on all uh, mm -hmm. the information okay. side but uh, like now i didn't realize there was a a fourth it's not the fourth it's some kind of start restart start after, up. After but do you have mm -hmm. to have a fur do you have to have a, mm -hmm. a company yes yeah yeah okay so then yeah. so then i i don't uh, yeah. if you if it's you a little bit confusing yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. different uh, from different uh, yeah so mm -hmm. in whatever yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. environment you're in if you have a company mm -hmm. or if you're yeah. kind of playing for yourself and we're doing yeah. uh, self-employment mm -hmm. suppose mm -hmm. It's a different yeah, thing. So that's yeah. a, so it's like every time there's applications, there's always yeah. a whole lot of bureaucracy yeah. involved. And mm. Mm. Yeah, that would be the usual. <laughs> the usual, yeah. <laughs> and did you experience any divisions in your artistic circles or in your circle of friends? Were there during the pandemic or with the vaccination programs, were there any kind of discussions going on? Who is doing what? Or if there's any problems, or should we put a little bit of a fight in to kind of... Was there any, I don't ever think any we, time to I, I don't consider? think we've had the same um, thing. In Sweden, we've been very free yeah. compared yeah. to the yeah, rest of Europe. Yeah. Yeah. We've had very few restrictions, you know. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. uh, last year, it, when every all the other countries in Europe were, had yeah. really shut down, and we were quite open yeah. still. And, and all the media was pointing at Sweden and saying, yeah. look, uh, this is uh, the worst you can do. And, uh, yeah. you know, the, all the health uh, it, uh, <coughs> health departments in all the countries were saying, this is terrible in Sweden. And we had a lot of uh, people dying, and which wasn't really due to the fact that we were more infected, but, but, but the way the health the the health uh, is is organized with just yes, uh, just that the it's, it's uh, always just uh, replacing people who come in and work on mm -hmm. the hour and it's mm -hmm. not so the whole system mm -hmm. it made it very visible that it's not the same people who work and and they, there's no sort of it's always different yeah. people coming in to work so mm -hmm. it it's that's why things yeah. yes that's the difference in Europe in the rest of Europe or in the rest of the world there was quite a big division between two people I found yeah. personally mm. anyway and the artistic world then to be able to play again it was always oh you need to get vaccinated yeah otherwise you will never be able to travel again it was a lot of misinformation as well well and it that is. that's kind of true kept for this us that's true that's, that's, that's true we couldn't be here in life and Otherwise. there was loads of friends splitting mm. up family yeah. mm. working we, we, environments 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we have to. I mean, we we know, have to have the vacation to, yeah. to to travel in Europe. Yeah, yeah. We have to show it uh, we have on to this show tour it all the time. But it all didn't really affect. You didn't really feel this kind of splitting or no. friendships breaking up or breaking no. down. No. no, not at oh, all. That's no. Nice. No. No, that's a beautiful no. thing to hear. Yes. Yes. There's a lot of people that don't cope really well with that side of the pandemic now. It's, it happened mm. a lot in the other mm. countries mm. Mm. where the media was kind of firing kind of misinformation or the right information or just confusing people all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And it was splitting up so many people and it was awful to see. Mm. 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 And no, it's not I mean, good for your artistic work as well, I suppose, if you experience this type of... Mm. I mean, I'd, I'd say that the majority of musicians have, have wanted to... Mm. Just keep going. And, 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 and also because I think in general, 80% of the population in Sweden is vaccinated. Mm. And that we don't have a... We, which is a big difference with some countries, even in Europe, that we trust mm -hmm. the government and mm. the information <laughs> we get yeah. in another way. Because yeah. Yeah. we don't have a, a, the same history of uh, no. corruption. And, you know, it's like... That's nice. It's a big it's difference. very nice to hear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody <laughs> trusts in their yeah. government. Mm. And you know, also streaming and all this, uh, which has been going on yeah. for the last. It, it's, it's good, okay, but we need the audience. Yeah. We yeah. need to travel, we need to meet and uh, mm. you play know, together. So, mm. yeah, it's very important. Because yeah, music develops in a totally different yeah. way if you play for an audience, because mm. you play in different spaces different instruments, mm. a different room, and mm. you know, it, you play with the room and you play for the audience and, and the energy in the room. Mm -hmm. You can never get that on streaming, mm -hmm. however positive, mm. uh, technical, and, and the, how good instruments you have. <coughs> it's because uh, you have to get your energy from within. You don't have the, this uh, communication mm -hmm. which circles and everybody is breathing mm. together in a way which mm. happens with yeah. an audience which so it's very important it's, um, to create so, music as yeah, well so usually stream concerts are usually shorter because mm. it's you have to be so focused mm. just to keep the keep the flow mm. in another way yeah so I've, did you all set up a zoom <laughs> 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 yeah yeah. yeah. Or recording studios at home. I'm sure, you have that. Then. Yeah, you oh, have yeah, to pretend you, when you record and, and you and you do stream. You have to pretend mm -hmm. that's an organ. Yeah, yeah. in I your do, mind. I do with like, that. Yeah. It's like a kid, yeah. Yeah. but, but mm -hmm. it's, sometimes it's very difficult because yeah. you you don't you do not, don't get the energy. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to. Yeah, so you have to pretend. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Energy, you have so. to be a good actor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as well. So I'm not sure if. If you were involved in any of these discussions, what's your opinion about the whole discussion about systemically relevant in mm -hmm. the art and culture scene? So the big, too big to fail question. Mm -hmm. Is, did you have any experience in that? Or are you a, a smaller group? Or did you find it easier that anybody gets any funding or support if they are a big act? Or did you hear anything about this in Sweden? I mean, I think the first uh, mm -hmm. the first uh, crisis funding was it it went to um, some some of the mu uh, money went to commercial yeah. acts, and there was quite a lot of mm. discussions around this that musicians who uh, who are not playing commercial music. Uh, yeah, but <coughs> there was also discussion about. Uh, uh, the sound engineers uh, mm -hmm. uh, because, yeah. mm -hmm. they, because they didn't get mm -hmm. anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So there was a lot of discussion about mm -hmm. that. Yeah. 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 yeah, there was a little bit of a, a lot of confusion about that. Yeah. So yeah. I remember the, yeah. the pictures, of all the sound engineers kind mm -hmm. of giving away or I heard about giving yeah. away all yeah. their gear. Yeah. So they couldn't survive anymore. Yeah. They were so selling off everything. Yeah. And they, were, they were totally forgotten. So some, some, some of these pop artists were actually get, were getting money that they paid to their, yeah. Yeah. To their big companies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to their technicians too. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. There's a lot of people, they don't know what's involved. 
No. In, that's true. Somebody yeah, yeah, playing yeah. music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They just see the musician in the mm -hmm. front, but mm -hmm. nobody knows how many people are involved in the background. Yeah. Well, we we don't have off. people in in the background because we really have to do everything, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah, uh, we <coughs> this yeah. group. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. But you know, as well, if we, you would play you know, a big festival, there are sound yeah, engineers, yeah, exactly. builders, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. setup, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and. All of these people were forgotten, actually. Yeah, they were forgotten. Yeah. They were forgotten. And mm -hmm. so. yeah. Oh, oops. Yes, I do that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> they just don't think about that there is yeah. a lot of people yeah. sometimes involved, even in a one person act. Mm -hmm. you know, like yeah. So, what impact did the, yeah, the worldwide cultural standstill actually have on you and your artistic network? Mm -hmm. It's not the lockdown, maybe the standstill of actually everybody just stopped. Mm. Or they tried, but they couldn't, they didn't really know what to do or how. I mean, I think everybody has tried to ha handle it the best way they could, and, you know, by doing recordings and, uh, and yeah. uh, new uh, projects mm. and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah. having time to uh, write stuff. And, uh, oh. mm. I think also in a way, Working with music and art, we are used to invent our job situations, mm -hmm. you know. It can be, I don't know, but maybe worse for people who get unemployed. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, mm -hmm. for us, activity goes on in a way and we are planning for life after Corona and, uh, well. Yeah, I suppose artists feed off each other as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this creates then different things what you would never think about before. That's kind of, mm. it just happens when you're kind of playing mm. or yeah. acting together or... Mm. Yeah. And that's I when mean, great things happen, basically. Yeah, when you... And if everybody sits in their own little studio and their bed sit, mm. it gets very... And then the mental health issue as well, yeah, I suppose. Definitely. That's a big problem in the art scene. Mm. I think there's a lot of people are just they're self-employed. They have to look for work, create their work. Oh yeah, I mean it, 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 it's, it's a big a uh, it's a big stress. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mm. think uh, there's been a survey. I mean, this was before Corona, but like uh, forty percent of uh, musicians yeah. have uh, mental health yeah. issues, basically. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, and they deal with them when they're playing together yeah, and exactly, they're yeah. interacting yeah. between each other. That's kind of lifts up the yeah. mood, of course. Yeah, so and now so I guess it's been extra yeah. with the isolation. And, yeah. <clears throat> uh, it's, it's, it's like usual, but extra usual. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. <laughs> extra. That's true. You have to pull yourself together <laughs> yeah. even more. Yeah. Yeah. Even more. <laughs> and Unusual. also, I think many yeah. musicians, they, they have to look for other jobs mm -hmm. just for the, to get to the survive, money, yeah, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I was applying to uh, to be like a yeah. replacing as a teacher in schools mm -hmm. last spring, and then uh, <coughs> the you know the, the it was spreading like hell in, in the schools, and then I decided I I didn't want to go working, you know. Mm -hmm. and then finally, I, I luckily I, I got this uh, crisis stipendia, mm -hmm. so that. Mm -hmm. But um, Peace this fall, I, all my gigs that were postponed have been taking place, but I, I, I have signed up again for um, doing replacements because I'm thinking, I don't know how long, I mean, now the, the gigs that should have taken place last year have taken place mm. now, but, and then, mm. yeah, and then, and yeah. then yeah. so. Yeah, there would be a, a big gap. A big mm -hmm. gap, because I, th I think mm. with this sort of exactly. restart, everybody's, oh, I'm playing again, mm. I'm playing again, but then there's gonna be a like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like because yeah. because yeah. so many associations yeah. and and uh, yeah. like okay and now what you know like this. Uh, yeah, so I suppose I mean, the expectations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After yeah. all of this time, the kind of yeah, and yeah. then yeah. yeah, maybe it doesn't happen that way. But who knows? Maybe yeah. everybody can just. I mean, you know, in just in general, it, it takes it goes very fast to tear down something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It can be done by a pandemic, or it can be done by a political party who decides to cut all the culture subsidies, mm -hmm. and you know, or, or health care, or mm -hmm. 
everything which has taken uh, 20 years to build up, it, it can be totally uh, blown out in, in two mm -hmm. years, you know, so mm -hmm. that these populistic parties can mm -hmm. cut culture uh, very fast. And uh, mm -hmm. so, you know, if they see in some, maybe in some villages or, or small towns in Sweden, there, there's um, <coughs> some examples of uh, small towns that have had a, are populistic party have had a majority and they've mm. had uh, you know opinions on what the books that they should be in the library and uh, mm. Mm. E even in Sweden you know there's this is yeah. populistic um, yeah. trend what kind of art is it? what kind of art are we yeah. going to have on yeah. the on the on the square mm. and uh, yeah. mm -hmm. so it's oh, well. That's quite scary. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, scary. Yeah, very yeah. dangerous. How, how fast it gets. Yeah, Especially yeah. for, for it goes very fast, yeah. this uh, kind of thing yeah. we are doing. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah it can be very dangerous. It's, you know, mm. it's, a, it's an interesting time to live in. Mm. Somehow to see actually yeah. firsthand how quick something changes. Yeah what people can do. In and how fast something becomes normal. And, yeah. and mm -hmm. how fast something mm -hmm. gets normal. It's normal yeah, not to go to it. concerts. It's normal to lie on the sofa and look at Netflix. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And not give a fuck about anything yeah. and just yeah. <laughs> zonk <laughs> out, you know. Tele shopping, yeah. Yeah. get yeah. some gadgets to yeah, 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 yeah. make exactly, you feel yeah. a little bit better, get yeah. your Amazon packages in mm. yeah. every day mm. and yeah. don't think too much about it. Just wait no, for it to so. end. Mm. Yeah. So uh, I guess this music is uh, everything but commercial. So where we can't be part of this shopping no, no. culture ever, <laughs> which is a very mm. nice. Uh, actually, it makes it very meaningful that we know that we're always going to be a, mm. an anti um, mm. a force against yes. the consumers, consumist. Uh, yeah. It, we are not consumers. <laughs> and the people who listen, they want food for their soul, not mm. for their... Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So that kind of makes it a little bit more positive then. Now the next question. Yeah. What <laughs> positive changes can you see in yourself after this time now? Or we are still in this time Ooh. in the pandemic. Or can you see any positive changes? Positive changes. Yeah. I think I'm more aware of really taking care of the important things mm -hmm. in music and uh, in in life. Because I, I hope people in general uh, can see that they miss, you know, to go to concert mm -hmm. and they mm. miss yeah, the music. The hunger yeah. for, I hope, for life. I exactly. hope really they the can live see music. That, yeah. oh, what's happened here. Yeah. So maybe they can. Yeah. I hope that we reach some changes. I hope mm. so, but how? Mm. You know, <laughs> I mean, uh, to not take it for granted that no. everything no. is always there. You know? Yeah, because yeah. I mean, people are still scared to go to concerts. Yes. And, uh, yes. And yeah. yeah. Just kind of stay yeah. away a little bit. Yeah. Just yeah. to be sure. That's sure. Be, mm. I'm not sure about if that's the whole restrictions. Is a lot of people don't want to really test themselves or go through whatever they are asking before they can go into a venue. It's That's just a little bit, sometimes it's a little bit complicated. Sometimes mm. it changes every couple of weeks then. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I know in most of European countries, the nightclubs are still closed, I think, or certain venues, or they're lifting slowly the restrictions. But yeah. it's just after this time, people are like a little bit I'm not sure. Mm. <laughs> yeah, what's gonna There's happen a here? Or general une yeah, uneasiness, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And uh, can you see what positive effects can you see for the environment, for example, or on our lovely planet Earth? Well, <laughs> we're touring by train. Yeah, we're touring by train mm. because of. And, uh, yeah. That's it kind of a statement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Th th that's definitely a, a conscious statement because mm. we first were thinking of it, it will be cheaper by plane, and then and then we thought we can do this by train, and I and I and we we started talking about oh we can get uh, we do an interrail we mm. buy mm. <coughs> interrail and we are interrailers. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finally. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is. 
And no. it's, uh, Did you ever do it when you were younger? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> but actually, it works out very well yeah. to tour by train. Yeah. yeah. So this is something we really want to uh, work on, you yeah. know, that, f I mean, you want, we've been sort of spreading the news on, you know, we want this to sort of, uh, what used to be normal before yeah. that people used to, you know, take the bass and the drum set on, mm. on the train. And now it's not so easy to take the drum set. No. And it's pretty okay to take the bass and, you know, and then uh, I only had one conductor uh, on the saying, <laughs> you should not take the bass, you should send it with another train. And then I found it on the Google, I found <laughs> Deutsche Bahn, as so they said, yes, you can take the double bass. And I just showed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I was just worried your bass was going to get broken by a bike. But, you know, I just... Oh, right, okay. <laughs> by I, a big bike. <laughs> sure, I, I'm quite sure you have a good case for your bass. So. It's pretty good, yeah. But, it's you know, proof. if somebody comes with a, big, <laughs> with a big suitcase and does like this, it's, uh, but anyway, I mean, it's so nice to see that we can travel just um, yeah. mm. with one and we bo borrow the drum set and you have your cymbals yeah, and yeah. you... And, and it's very nice to travel by train because... Uh, yeah, mm. but like you can it. bring your sticks. Hmm? You can bring your yeah. sticks. Yeah, then, yeah. But yeah. also, you know, this, uh, this thing <laughs> that it takes time mm. to come to a place mm. and it's, there's a, that you journey, you, you have a a journey yeah. mm -hmm. which you never experience when you fly. Mm -hmm. In, when you fly you just get from point A to point B but when you when you travel you have you have a journey which this old you I, I can feel this sort of um, uh, reconnecting with this uh, feeling of that a journey you is a journey for the soul because mm -hmm. we go through different yeah. landscapes and so this is also part of the tour actually that we um, you know, and there's the people, every different people on the train and the... Mm. Yeah. yeah, you meet more people. Yeah, and on the and plane. You know, yeah. Exactly, on, on the plane slower, everybody is... It slows down the whole yeah, traveling, yeah, so and your whole experience. Mm. Yeah. And slow is good, and suppose then, you know, that's you, the biggest change what we experience. Yeah, and you know, and you, you, you get off at the train station and you, you take the bus and you walk to the hotel and, and you mm. know, it's just, a, it's just a... It's a, it's a real traveling yeah. experience compared to when you fly, yeah. where you just become like a hamster yeah. Yeah. in a security, yeah. Yeah. through a security yeah. tunnel, and yeah. then a hamster in the plane, and then hamster Already on the out. airport. Yeah. 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 So we feel like people here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's so much nicer. Yeah. I've yeah. So, um, so, let's see. And so, what do you think about all the limitations and prohibition introduced in the world of arts and culture? Lately, I'm not sure if it's different in Sweden now than well, in other places. It was closed. I mean, mm. everything was closed. The, the, the libraries, you could just go and mm. leave a book and get a book. You couldn't sit in the library and, you know, you couldn't go swimming in the swimming pool. I mean, everything was closed too, mm. you know. Mm. People were just meeting outside. And so it's not that we didn't have restrictions. I mean, mm. we had just as hard restrictions on, on um, cultural events. The museums were closed. It's just we mm. didn't have lockdown that people couldn't go out and meet outside you know because I've, i heard like in germany people couldn't even even or in london like you couldn't even sit down on the bench because your police mm, yeah. would come and mm. and uh, you know some countries were <clears throat> if you didn't have the mask they were oh, giving yeah, they out were. fines and we didn't have any i mean just if people gathered if there was like uh, these uh, demonstrations if there were a few small ones the police came and uh, yeah. Distortion. Mm. But it wasn't anything close to the demonstrations that, that, that there's been in, uh, in Berlin or, or um, mm. in some other parts of, of Europe, you know, like... Because uh, <coughs> we've had very free, I mean, you know, we haven't had uh, this, uh, you can only go out once a day to go shopping, I mean, you know, and that mm. you have to borrow the neighbor's dog to go and pee to be able to come out a second time, you know, it's like... A, <laughs> Which in you know in Italy oh. or I mean it's some absurd yeah, yeah, yeah. things you know in Italy you weren't allowed to for a certain time you weren't allowed to leave your house for more than three hundred meters three hundred meters yeah and wow. then if you yeah. went wow. any further wow. you got a fine yeah exactly and so people were actually watching you and uh, yeah, yeah. they were yeah and that's and not nice and prohibition is never nice and it always brings out the worst in people yeah yeah, yeah. so and we 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 I mean we've been very lucky and under. I, I live half of the time out in the countryside with my boyfriend mm. and it's been no difference, just uh, mm. Mm. no difference. So, um. But it's strange in Sweden, you can go to a shopping center uh, to 
to buy things and it's full of people. It's so <laughs> yeah. crowded, you know. <laughs> And it's okay, you can walk around and you can sit close to people, mm, yeah. you know, but you can't go to a concert. Mm. You know you can, but before, I mean, mm. you during restrictions, you, yeah. you, you couldn't go and... Uh, yeah, you could be max that eight, was eight people. That was, mm. yeah, that was, that was crazy. stupidity. Yeah, yeah and, and we were, I mean, there was so many uh, cultural, uh, uh, you know, people uh, writing in, in the newspaper, this, yeah, yeah. this uh, app sort mm. thing that you could go shopping mm. in a shopping center and there could be 3,000 people. Mm -hmm. And then finally, the, the um, government uh, in, introduced restrictions for that there could be max, uh, a max number of 500 people. But mm. still, you know, it's like uh, the, the cultural uh, mm. yeah, it was mm. places. Mm. It, I it, think was, it was messing it was with people's heads. Mm. Yeah. A lot in every country. It was yeah. different measures and different limitations, yeah. prohibitions. Yeah. It was just kind of in one place you can meet up in a football match yeah. with mm. 50,000 people, yeah, yeah. but mm. there was no gigs going on with mm. 10 people. Yeah. No. In Ireland, yeah, yeah. you weren't even allowed if there is somebody playing music, you yeah. were not allowed to dance no. or to stand up or to watch it or mm. each other's no. into yeah. your eyes. That was written down. It's prohibited. Mm. Prohibition now, and you're not allowed to do that. And it's just, I don't think it's healthy. No, no, and, and then it, it also um, showed how, uh, you know, that it's, uh, that we are, that it's so consumistic, uh, that we are consuming mm. stuff, yeah. things, and that's a, that's a yes, yes, you mm. know, that the, Commerce, the commercial mm. has to go on, the business mm. has to go on, otherwise people will be losing their jobs and all mm -hmm. this and all this and all this. But when it comes to, to, the, to the cultural mm. events, there's been a, just, it was just totally shut down really for, for a very long time. Mm. 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 Yeah, I think that's a lot of people didn't understand that. Mm. No. It was Why very, something else yeah. is okay yeah. Yeah. and yeah. actually the nice things, more kind of human things are not okay. Mm. Mm. And that makes everybody feel mm. what's going yeah, yeah. on. And mm. yeah. No, so there, of why? course, there were there were very big discussions. But, 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 but these things have to do with the law also, too, but because in Sweden we can't shut down the society. Not, no, not possible to do. That. <laughs> So, so like in Denmark, they shut down in a way, that when, yeah, and in, in, in um, Norway too, yeah. which we are not through with, with our constitution. Yeah. It's, we are not allowed to shut down. Yeah. yeah, see that, I think it was, that's in every country like this, it's just the, we're all running over any kind of constitutions in any country with this type, what they introduced, the were kind of... Mm. emergency legislations then, this, uh, you know, that's when you can mm. kind of step mm. over every kind of con mm. constitutions, what were actually planned out and taught mm. out to kind of regulate the society, different types of society. Mm. In, and they were just not listened to. I don't think they were played out really well or... Mm. <laughs> But at least I think in Sweden, you know, there's not, there wasn't that much of a difference. It was just, it was up to the people more. Yeah. 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 I mean, the Re was, responsibility. It was, yeah. Yeah. It, it was really, it it's was always formulated as recommendations. Mm. Like, yeah. mm. it's not, you are, otherwise you will get a fine. It was just recommendations. Yeah. If you get the symptoms, you are recommended to stay at home and uh, people were recommended to work from home and the, and the cl schools were closed for quite a long time. But there was no uh, enforcement of law that yeah. they could give you a fine. I mean, just a <clears throat> and you know, people are very obedient. Yeah, they Sweden. called it recommendations in Europe, in the rest of Europe as well. But they forced it. Into, yeah, they you know, forced, they forced them, yeah. the recommendations <laughs> yeah. on the people with fines. Basically. Yeah, exactly. And nobody really saw this little kind of yeah. difference that it wasn't really law in the beginning. But then yeah. they changed that mm. once it kind of was wearing off yeah. and people started to think of you and a lot of the fines had to be paid back mm. of course in a lot of countries but that's kind of just legal kind of discussions mm. then and a lot of people are having mm. kind of legal issue with that yeah but so you were saying anyway that you 
did you have any projects blocked? Yeah, of and course. Could that have been yeah, kind of lots continued of easily without taking any risks, for example, as well? If no. what you were thinking about, were they always kind of risky? Risky projects. We, no, no. <laughs> we, of course, we were talking them. about when, when I said the gigs was closed, and, mm -hmm. and when we when we were rehearsing, that we talk about to keep the distance and, and the age of the, the, the people who's playing. So it, is it okay to play with the shadows? So it so, so was what so. But you had projects planned, yeah, and a lot of all of you had yeah, 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 I mean, gigs yeah, and yeah. projects planned, and they were all cancelled. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. You just they put them canceled. on hold and, yeah, 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 yeah. and yeah. Yeah. hope mm. you yeah. can continue that one. Or maybe they're changing then. <laughs> then they never well, are the same. Or once a project is born, it has to be yeah, yeah, I mean, played it's, uh, and mm. lived. Yeah, I mean, it's like a baby, isn't it? It changes even if you postpone it, it changes. Yeah. Because you're yeah. at a different time in life. And uh, yeah, so <clears throat> it, this, it, of course, it changes the project if you postpone it. And some projects can't take place because you can't uh, get money again. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And postpone the, the funding. And so there's been also some rules like that that. Mm. Good old rules. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, I really hope that you can continue every project what's yeah, yeah. playing around we in your minds so, yeah. and make a lot of people happy. Yeah, that's what we hope. Yeah. So suppose I'm coming to my final question, the most important one. Did you write a COVID song? No. Not yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> we still have to think about that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be a jodo. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure how know. many COVID songs will come out in the next couple of years. What do yeah. you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> I guess the one, if it ever comes out one from us, it would be pretty abstract. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. This one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it looks great. <laughs> okay. So, I suppose I want to thank you for this lovely interview. Thank you, Dora. Thank you. It wasn't too bad. <laughs>